the need, even before you take a client phone call, would be SEMrush, in my opinion. Now, there are other tools like Ahrefs, SE Ranking, and, and various other tools that will give you similar data, but SEMrush is a personal favourite, so you can sign up using the link below. Um, however, SEMrush is vital. Now, obviously, on my screen, you can see um, the plans and pricing, so you can get it from $129 a month, uh, for the, the lowest package, if you're working with more keywords and you want to track more, then the Guru package is 249 and then you can get a business package at 499 which is just more projects, more keywords to track and everything else. Um, so I'm just going to log in. It gives you a nice dashboard here and you can basically look at any domain name. Now... I'm just going to randomly take the top plumbers in London. So if you Google Plumbers London, this particular company comes up. So let's just say this client comes on the phone to me and says, Craig, can you have a look at my SEO, see what's happening? Um, now, when you put that URL in there under Domain Overview, we can see um, from as back as early as 2012 what their traffic's been like. Uh, and we can see that they've done reasonably well over the years um, in terms of organic search. And according to Same Rush, they are getting 21,000 hits per month. Um, the orange line is paid traffic. You can take that on, add it off. We can see that these guys also done some paid traffic um, at near the end of 2022. Um, so you can basically analyse how this person is marketing themselves, both from the side of things as well. So we can see the traffic, and we can see the keywords that they rank for. There's obviously 6,637 keywords, um, and we can have a look at those keywords. Now, this is where it all really boils down to data. Um, if you want to rank for anything, you need to make sure that you're being found for the right search terms. And when we use a tool like this, we can see that Plimco Plumbers, they, they have a lot of traffic coming through for their own brand name. Uh, now, the volume part on here is really important. Um, that is the amount of monthly search volume that someone uh, is searching on a monthly basis uh, for that company. So they get 14,800 people searching for that business. And of course, they're getting a big bunch of traffic for all the Plimco um, or Pim, Pimco, I don't even know how to say that word, <laughs> but um, we can see a lot of the branded searches bringing in a lot of the traffic, but of course they are found for emergency plumber, emergency electrician, and so on and so forth. Now we, again, emergency plumber gets 18,100 searches per month. It will also show us the page that these guys have for that particular search term. So we can analyze the page, what have they got going on there, we can look at the URL structure, we can look at the title tag, we can look at the heading, we can look at the content on this page and the call to actions on this page as well. Local emergency plumbing services, what our clients say, some FAQs and a whole bunch of other stuff. They've also got local landing pages on there. So if you were to Google something like Haringey Plumbers, I'm going to make the assumption these guys come up. So they have landing pages. They've got everything going well. So, you know, <coughs> you can do this to look at your client or potential client's project, or um, you can do it to look at the competition, see what they're doing, and, of course, replicate that for your client. So if you've got a client who's not this company, but you see these guys are number one, you can see the rankings they've got, the keywords they've got, the landing pages. So we can see that the homepage ranks for a lot of the branded SERPs. And we can see the individual pages that, that rank well, you know, emergency roofing, they've got an emergency roofing page. And the biggest thing I can say is if you don't have a page for something, you can't rank for it. 
So you have to do your research. You can look at the competition. The answers are all within same rush in terms of how you go about researching uh, a niche. Now, you don't have to just look at domain overview. You can also click on a tool like keyword overview. So if you're sitting there and you maybe want to do affiliate marketing or you maybe want to find a niche or whatever it is you're doing, you can put in whatever keyword you like on here. And it could be something as stupid as, um, so we can put a search term like that in. And we can see that on a monthly basis, globally, globally, it gets 27.4 monthly searches. In the UK, it's 880. Now, is women's glasses the search term that we want to go after? Potentially. Um, but who says it's not ladies' glasses or, or something else? So we can see that there's a lot of different keywords relating to women's glasses, women's glasses for face shape, um, glass frames for women, women with glasses, women's reading glasses, glasses Versace women. You know, these are all things that people are searching for. And on the left-hand side here, people might even look by colour. So women's black glasses, um, black frame glasses for women, <laughs> Blonde women with glasses, um, you know, avatar icons, blonde women glasses, you know, there's cartoon sexy glasses, there's so many different variations of keywords um, and, you know, you have to do your research to find out which ones suit the company that uh, you're working with or for or, or whatever it might be and there's some bizarre stuff out there, um, you know, old even, um, you know, best glasses for 70 year old women. People are actually searching for that. Um, it's not going to be that competitive. We can see that the keyword difficulty says NE, which is, uh, which basically means there's not enough data, which means it would be a piece of piss to, to rank for that. 40 people a month are searching for it. So if you get five or 10 sales from that, um, you know, non-competitive keywords, you could make money. So, you can dig deep in terms of uh, keyword research on here as well, which is why you want to potentially uh, be using a tool like SEMrush. So competitor analysis, keyword research, you have to start with that. You know, even a client on the phone, can you have a look at my website? We need to see what state that website is in. Um, you know, does it have those landing pages? Is the website fast enough? Has it had SEO done before? What's the traffic been like over the last, you know, 10 years? Has it been up, down, left, right? What's going on? Um, and from there, you can start to see what is going on. And as I say, going back to the main overview and we put in the, the, the plumbers, we can see that these guys have clearly uh, done marketing for, for a number of years. They've had some highs, they've had some lows. Obviously, there's algorithm updates and whatnot that come out, and that is how the land lies uh, in the world of SEO. So my first bit of advice when getting started would be to get SEMrush, punch in a few websites, understand how SEMrush works. You can even audit a website um, on SEMrush as well. So just going to... So when you do an audit of a website, you can punch in the website, you can have a look at it. Now, every website has errors, uh, broken images, broken links, incorrect pages found in a sitemap. Obviously, errors are the things that you want to fix first and foremost. Um, and then, obviously, warnings uh, is something you want to have a look at. Um, you know, four external li uh, links are broken. I want to fix them in my own website, of course. Speed issues. Um, there are certain things, for example, though, as an affiliate marketer, I've got links to other websites on my website. They are no follow. Um, now, SEMrush is flagging that up as if it's a, it's a warning. Of course, I'm not going to pass out link juice 
uh, to other websites, which is why they're no follow. I know that. Um, so you can ignore ignore certain warnings. It flags up some false positives uh, and then notices um, you obviously want to tidy up where possible. So if there's three pages that are blocked from crawling, um, you know, I don't particularly need any of these pages crawled. Um, so I know that they're blocked from crawling, but if that was a money page, make sure that you stop that from happening. So the site audit is a great starter um, as well um, when looking at a client's website. So when you're getting started, you could audit it, you could look at the website, see what the traffic's like, look at some of their competition, just Google the, the, comp, you know, the, the main keywords that these guys want to rank for, pull up two or three of the competitors, and then you have a better idea of where the competition are at and where your client wants to be. And of course, then start picking off the keywords um, to draw up a content plan. So we'll go into that next.